Somewhere in Christchurch, New Zealand, the rain comes down in sheets. We swoop in on the picturesque village and hear a weather report. Nothing but rain. Inside a home, a 71-year-old man stands in front of his TV and pumps his fist joyfully at the report. The man rushes over to his landline telephone and calls an old friend. His friend has to put in a hearing aid before answering the call. The man asks his friend, Want to play? His friend smiles and agrees before he phones another friend. The chain continues as we see an old man woken up from his nap by a ringing phone. He answers it and excitedly nods his head in agreement. We see the men in their raincoats and gumboots head to their cars with a revitalized vigor, much to the chagrin of their families. One after another, we see the elderly men driving off into puddled village roads while the rain continues to fall. They arrive at a muddied, rain-soaked field. As the first one gets out of his car, he pulls off his soaked woolen jumper over his head. When his sweater no longer obscures his face, it's magically revealed that he is now a young boy again. Another old man pulls up in his car. As he gets out of his car, he is hidden briefly by the car door. He now reappears as a young child. An old man walks onto the field and unlaces his shoes. As he pulls the shoes off, the feet of a young boy appear, rather than an old man's. The boys walk onto the field. As they pass in front of and are obscured by the empty bleachers on the sidelines, the remaining older men are transformed into younger versions of themselves. During the game, a young boy falls into the mud. He picks himself up and we see him smile, his white teeth contrasting with the dark mud on his face. We pull away from the field as the now mud-soaked boys continue their game in the pounding rain.